Okay, so we're going to install the fan. The fan comes in a box, in a, not in a box, in a bag. Let's open the bag, get the fan out. So the fan comes partially pre-assembled. You'll see that our fan comes with a metal piece here, a metal kind of a mounting bracket. And on the back, we've got the T-slot nuts already on the attached. Occasionally, there may be the case where, due to shipping, these nuts slip out. So if for some reason you don't see these in the top, go take a look in your bag or your box and try to and, and, and try to find it. We're going to mount this on the with the T slot nut T slot nuts aligned on the inside. So like this. So I'm going to align my T-slot nuts to be horizontal and then I'm going to put them in here and then I'm going to get them just lightly Snug nuts are going to fall out, but I want to be able to move this to side to side because the, there's going to be a question as to like where does this need to be? Should it be here? Should it be here? Exactly where does it need to be? And it needs to be in a an exact spot. Here's the cover that I took out before. You'll notice that there is a cutout for the fan. And so for now, I'll just move it here. All right, so it's aligned this way with the cutout. You don't have control over the height, so all we need to make sure is that it's in the right part, right slot. And then I can tighten this down. So we've got this tightened down, and we've got these two pins. So let's open this up. So we'll leave this dangling here for now, and let's mount the projector. So like we did before, let's open up this projector casing and we can get rid of all the stuff that we, we do not need. We need the projector. And then we will need the power cable, but we don't need the VGA cable. In fact, we'll never need the VGA cable. And we will also not need this case. So we take a look at this projector and let's plan what we're going to do here. On the bottom of the projector, you'll see that there is actually quite a large number of holes and um, and threaded parts, right? What we're going to be using is we're going to be using three holes, right? We're not going to use this the biggest threaded hole with the kind of the bronze colored uh, thread on it. Rather, we're going to be using these three smaller holes that on this particular unit has kind of a silverish threads visible inside, right? There's three of these in a triangular formation, and those match three holes here. One, two, three, right? And you'll be able to see them more easily. The fan kind of blocks the view of the, of the camera here, right? And you can see them on the back. One, two, three. 
Just for reference, you do want to take a look to see what you're going to want to plug into. What we'll be plugging into here is the power cable, obviously. We're also going to plug in the RS-232, um, the serial connection. And then we're going to plug into one of these HDMIs. I'll probably end up plugging into HDMI 1, which is over here. Um, and if we have some of these cables here, I guess we could plug them in. What do I have here? Got power cable. We've got a power cable here. And then there's these two other cables. Those I set aside earlier. And this is a pretty standard run-of-the-mill HDMI cable. These are going to run out through this hole. And so in order to not create a rat's nest inside the cable, I'm going to run them through the hole first. And then what's going to happen here is it's going to go on like this. I'm going to plug this. It's going to end up mounted up here. So that means that I'm going to actually put the projector up here upside down. And I can start plugging some of these guys in. So here is HDMI 1. Plug that in. Power cable. Plug that in. So this is the end that's the RS-232, because we need the we need the end with the female pins. So this is the gray cable. It's got nine pins, but these is the both ends are nine pin female. So I'll stick one end through the hole. And the other end goes down here. All right, now we're ready to mount this, All right? So now this projector is going to go on like this. So I'm going to get the uh, get the screws ready. So here we're using the three 14 millimeter M3 screws. Let me get those out of the box here. There's one. And you'll know the M3 ones because at this point, these three screws will be the smallest diameter screws we have left. And these are going to go through these holes. We've got three here. And then we've got the two stainless steel spacers. All right, there's one, and there's two. So we've got our two spacers here. These spacers are going to go on the two bottom screws, which means if I put the projector here so I can turn the whole thing around. Well, we can't see this super clearly with the fan. Uh, oh, no, you can see it. So we've got these two bottom parts here. I'm going to put the spacers on. So we've got spacers on the bottom, and then I'm open on the top. And then I'm going to align the projector and screw on the screws. And for that, because these are smaller screws, we will not be using the orange handled guy. We will be using the smallest of the two Allen keys that we have. And so, 
figure out what the best way to do this is. Um, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to align this here. Looking down from the top, and aligning the bottom. So I've got these started. Turn this around so now you can you can see how they're in, right? So I basically I finger started them so that this thing is secure. And then now I'm going to Start these super good. Now you may be wondering like where these need to be placed. Right now I have this basically just pushed uh, with the projector pushed all the way to the back. All right, this is the front of the printer. Um, we'll see whether this is the right place. Um, so we're going to have to do some more movement on this anyway. Um, I got these pretty snug so these can be final if it turns out to be okay. Um, so we've got this projector mounted, we've got the board on, and then we're going to plug in the fan. Fan is going to go into D9. So you'll see on the board that there are these numbers. There's, D9, there's D10 and then a plus, D9, a plus, D8, and a plus. So D9 is basically the minus for D9, and then the plus between D9 and D8, that's the plus for D9. And so the wire with the piece of tape, that's going to go into plus, and the wire without the tape, that's going to go into D9. We are going to need the two millimeter, two millimeter slotted screwdriver for this. So where is the two millimeter flat screwdriver, you may ask? Well, here's the funnel. And open the funnel, and voila, there's a screwdriver in here. 
So I guess this keeps the screwdriver from rattling around. You have the little screwdriver here. We don't need the funnel until we actually print. So now I'm going to unscrew terminals D9. and the plus between D9 and D8. Okay, get them really unscrewed. And there we go. So the guy with the tape goes into plus. There we go. And then guy without the tape goes into the slot motor D marked D9. And just push those in. And then tighten these guys down. Okay.